Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Dave Bryan. The Pittsburgh Steelers are now 1-2 and two as they head into their Week 4 home game against the New York Jets, a game they are favored to win. With so much time spent bashing the negatives concerning the team's offense as of late, I wanted to flip things around and present some positives when it comes to the team's defense. While the Steelers' defense has been far from perfect so far this season, the unit has only surrendered an average of 20 points per game through the team's first three games. That's obviously about three more points per game than you would like to see, but it's important to keep in mind that two of those games were played without all-world outside linebacker T.J. Watt. One stat that I follow religiously throughout a season is the adjusted net yards per passing attempt stat, and especially once six games have been played. It is a stat that really gives a good measure of offensive and defensive passing games as it takes into account things such as sacks, touchdowns, interceptions, and passing yards. Obviously, a team wants this stat to be as high as possible on offense and as low as possible on defense. Defensively, one would ideally like to see the adjusted net yards for passing attempt stat remain under 5.8 throughout a season. To date, the Steelers' defense has posted a stat of 4.9, and currently, only seven other teams have a number lower than theirs. Now, run defense does indeed count, and the Steelers' run defense Thursday night against the Cleveland Browns was certainly not acceptable. That said, the Browns' run offense is likely going to be the best that the Steelers' defense faces all season, and once again, Pittsburgh did not have Watt for that game. On Sunday, the Steelers will face a Jets offense that is sure to try to run the football early and often, and even while Watt won't play in that contest either, I expect a much better performance from the black and gold front. As for the Steelers' pass defense on Sunday against the Jets, I expect that to be more than up to standards as well, and especially with the unit coming off of a long week. If it's not, then it might be time to worry quite a bit about that side of the football. In closing, I feel like the Steelers' defense has played well enough for the team to have at least a 2-1 and one record at this point. Had the team's offense and special teams units showed up more in all three games, this team might very well be sitting at 3-0 and oh right now. Will those two units show up more in the next five games prior to the bye week? We'll see. But in the meantime, I'm not too worried about the defense as a whole, and that unit should be even better once Watt gets back from his injury. By the way, and in case you're curious, the Steelers' offensive adjusted net yards for passing attempt stat heading into week four is a mere 5.0, and only four other teams have a lower number than them. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with myself and Alex Kazora every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.